computer is in the wrong place. We're adding injector cleaner now. You guys will get to see an oil change done on a 1982 MCI. So, if he would need a funnel. Oh, he doesn't have a funnel. Yeah, of course. This is what's going inside. It looks like urine. <laughs> This is what we're putting inside. Increases the miles per gallon gas or diesel injector cleaner. Fuel saver. That looks like a, the urine of someone who has not drank any water.
think a funnel out of paper might be needed. One and a half, yep. This, guys, is what the bus did. It killed the grass. This is all burnt off diesel. And there are people here who practice in their band. You can hear it. It's pretty rugged here. <laughs> and there's people that practice over there as well and they practice the next one over and the next one it's like a whole bunch of bands that practice here yeah. sounds like there's a car that's coming and people are driving so fast on this road okay there's a leak everywhere in the engine and we cannot find out where exactly it's coming from. Could be from things being loose, but it's everywhere. Like it's all the way in the back as well. And at the front, throughout the whole side. If it was just in one area, we would kind of have some sort of an idea, but Not when it's all over. So, I'm going to see an oil change for the first time. And I hope you guys enjoy it as well. So this keeps engines alive. Heavy duty oil stabilizer. Okay. And then there is, so this is all oil. And I think the truck needs like 10 gallons or something like that. All of these. Oh, there's more. Oh, wow. This is all oil. <laughs> I could be wrong. It's It's going to be interesting. And I think a really big pan is needed from what I understand, obviously, to take out the old oil. It's going to be quite dirty. The old, old oil is... Uh, it's so dark, it's ridiculous. And my friend is going for a provincial inspection on Tuesday, so I don't think he'll appreciate driving into the facility center with like smoke coming out of the, out of the bus. So yeah, gotta do the oil change. We've got the bucket and we have a broken pan that does not look right. There's like 10 gallons and then this small bucket. Oh, I think what's going to happen is, no, that doesn't make sense. Is the oil from that bucket going to be going in this bucket? And then he'll close, close off the cap and then put this one back underneath. Well, we have to wait and see. I'm just as curious as you guys are. It's otherwise really beautiful here. Once again, it's pretty rugged. The people are so nice. You know, they're just a bit more rough, but they're real. They're very genuine. And this is a uh, this workshop belongs to the guy, at least half of it. This guy's renting it. The guy that sold my friend the bus and he's allowing my friend to fix the bus. That was part of the deal when my friend bought it is that he would be able to stay in the shed here. And the shed is huge. 
um, to fix the bus for two months, two months time. So, almost there. We have the funnel. May the work begin. Oh, Maybe you, can just you want to dip a stick inside there and see? Yeah, I'm going to get the light. Yeah. You know, guys, since I became a truck driver, I'm really interested in this stuff, like engines and things like that. Never really was before. Actually, I was to an extent. I did enjoy watching how things work, but uh, yeah, now I'm like all years. Have to learn this stuff. I'm going to double check because I am the helper here, guys. <laughs> You know what, I obviously need my glasses off. Mm, it smells like oil. Yep, looks like oil, smells like oil. It must be oil. <laughs> oh, the coolant was, he showed it to us. I think it was just, um, I think it was just through a looking he type put, of a. He put diesel into the coolant, how did he do Yeah, that? yeah, I remember. The guy who did that, guys, is the gentleman who's renting the shed. The guy who sold this bus to my friend put um, coolant in the diesel tank, in the diesel, or? No, diesel in the coolant. He put diesel in the coolant. But I don't know where the coolant is. And this guy calls himself a heavy duty mechanic. Okay. Coolant is right there. Why would it be up there? I don't know. That does not make any sense. Okay, what's this here? It's air. What? It's air, it? So you you build air from there, like? Um, I mean, with you can use a compressor to put air in. No, no you use, a, use a compressor down here to let. Air okay, in. so is this to let it out or? Just uh, like it. Okay. Maybe it's water. Yeah, this is the one that you use exactly. Maybe it's water. Okay. <laughs> What's the idea with that small pan? <laughs> okay. Yep, you explain to me what I need to do. I'm helping guys. <laughs> this little bucket, guys. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, you're going to close off the cap underneath when it's when it's coming out? How do you stop it from flowing? Oh, you open it and close it. Okay, yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Plus we, have a we have a funnel, guys. Woohoo! Okay. Okay, I'm going to change my tripod and I'll be right back, guys. I can get the camera inside. Oh, pfft. look at the hair of this bus. Like, ooh. You could almost brush it. I can't exactly see anything. The hair is in the way. What doesn't make sense? That faucet. Doesn't Why? Doesn't oh, it doesn't have a valve. Oh. At least I can't see it. But it's right in the middle between here. literally put the oil pan there like this oh this is going to be very interesting put the oil pan there but I don't know how to open it <laughs> and guys I'm sorry about the wind I'm purchasing one of those fluffy things for my microphone if you hear excess wind we're back at it, guys. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> ah. oh. oh, problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are a little bit apprehensive about opening it up. That it 
not that it continues to liquefy down the bucket is not big enough so if it starts pouring and we cannot stop it then that would be a bit of a an issue i guess and then we have 10 gallons of old oil on and then we have 10 gallons of old oil that's right okay i need to help now the bucket oh i see oil in my friend's hands that means there's something happening <laughs> oh like one quarter okay empty it okay empty it i will have to put my camera down on the tripod here guys okay let me just put it down like that okay now it's set up so that it films okay some oil and we pour it here one quarter you say that was Unfortunately, I can't see how much I'm getting out. Do you know what I mean? Yep. <laughs> this is our way of doing an oil change on a 1982 MCI bus. <laughs> guys okay <laughs> I guess you get the idea for the rest 